Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If this is your first time watching one of my video tutorials, I post videos on AWS LightCell, WordPress setup and configuration, and videos on other web hosting tools and services. I also have videos on WordPress tips and tricks, mostly for the beginners. So if you are interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and check out all my videos. I have over 40 video tutorials now on web hosting uh, on AWS LightCell. Uh, along with this channel, I have a accompanying website, webhostingforbeginners.net. Um, on here, I make a post for every video tutorial that uh, I show on the channel. Uh, the post outlines the steps that I perform in the video tutorial, as well as the commands that you can uh, copy and paste if you are running through the tutorial yourself. So go ahead and check that out. In this video, I will show you how to install and configure Redis for improving the speed of your website. Let's go ahead and go to redis.io. So Redis is an object level caching mechanism that will cache your database queries in memory. Now, technically it's a data store itself. It's a database itself, but if you're using it with WordPress, then the uh, configuration will speed up your WordPress site. It's different from a CDN. Um, I've done a video tutorial on setting up LightCell CDN service with WordPress. You may want to check that out. If you're interested, it should be in the card above. And what a CDN does is it's caching your static assets. So your static files are images, CSS files, JavaScript files, and other files that are not generated dynamically by uh, PHP. And what the CDN does is take those files and replicates it on edge level servers or edge level services all around the world. So that when a visitor comes to your website, those static files are served from the closest location uh, to that visitor, making your site essentially faster. So Redis, on the other hand, is essentially caching all your dynamic queries or your dynamic pages, so to speak. Uh, in memory, making your website faster as well. So that's how the two are different and you can probably use both together. So you may want to check out the video tutorial I've done on AWS LightCell's CDN service and then this video tutorial should you want to make your website even faster. So without further ado, let's check it out. So before we get started with the video tutorial, I wanted to remind you to make a backup of your entire server. If you are on the AWS LightCell platform, then you can easily create a snapshot before you run through these video tutorials. But if you are not using AWS LightCell, then just make sure that you have a backup of your entire website should you um, need to recreate it if anything uh, happens or anything messes up while you're running through these tutorial steps. Also keep in mind that I am using the Bitnami WordPress bl blueprint um, that's available in AWS LightCell for this tutorial. If you have a different setup of LAMP or your WordPress website, then some of these commands that I show you will be slightly different. I will try to link to some documentation that may help uh, in case your setup is different, but just know that this is all AWS LightCell and the Bitnami WordPress blueprint. Also for these steps, you will need your own VM. Uh, if you're on AWS LightCell, then each of these instances is a VM. But if you're not, then at least you need a full access uh, via SSH to your server to perform, perform these steps. If you have shared hosting, this is really not for you. However, check with your shared hosting provider to see if they've already configured Redis on their servers then all you have to do is perform the WordPress plugin side of things. Um, but if they don't have this configured or if they've never heard of Redis, then uh, perhaps it's time for you to switch uh, your hosting providers. And AWS LightCell is a great platform to migrate your website from. So, and you have about 40 plus video tutorials that can help you with that. Okay, so let's create a new instance. We'll select the Linux Unix platform and then the WordPress image. Leave it the same. 
we'll just call WordPress Redis and create the instance. Okay, so my server is up and running. So let me log in to SSH. And again, I'm using the Bitnami, uh, I'm sorry, I'm using the Bitvise SSH client. Um, it's a, um, a free tool. So if you are looking for an SFTP or an SSH client, consider using Bitvise SSH client. So I've configured that, I've logged in. And let's see. So we are in our home directory and we have Bitnami's apps installed here. So the first thing we're going to do is run the app get update and upgrade command. So sudo apt get update. And by the way, this will be Ubuntu 20.04 um, as of this video tutorial that the Bitnami blueprint is based on. And I think PHP 7.4 is also configured and Apache 2.4 uh, for this Bitnami blueprint. Okay, so now the next command is sudo apt get upgrade. And this should just take a minute or so. All right, uh, and now we're going to install the Redis engine. So apt sudo apt get uh, install Redis server. Okay. And just a reminder that I will be putting all of these commands in the webhostingforbeginners.net website. Uh, so go check it out um, when you're running through this video tutorial. Uh, the next item is let's check if our Redis server is running. So let's do uh, Redis server uh, version. And you'll see here, we have Redis server version 5.0.3. Uh, let's see, we also need to check if it's running. So I am going to copy and paste this line. And the Redis, run, Redis server runs on port 6379. So that's what we are checking here, is if there is anything listening on port 6379. And we see that there is a service listening on that. So our Redis server is installed and running. Okay, so next we will make some configuration changes for Redis. So let's go ahead and VI into and open up Redis, Etsy, um, Redis, redis.com. And we're going to add, um, actually probably uncomment these two lines max memory so search for max memory and we will uncomment the max memory line and here we will put 256 mb and then the next one will be max memory uh, policy and then we will set that to remove no eviction and we will set that to all keys LFU and we will save that file. Now we'll need to restart uh, Redis. There we go. Um, we, at this point, let's go ahead and restart the uh, PHP FM as well. And just make sure that that comes up. Okay. Um, the next thing we need to do is install the PHP extension for Redis. So we'll run a command sudo pecl install Redis. And just hit enter on these 
prompt. Okay, and then the last item that is, it's already telling us to do that, which is add the extension equals redis.so to PHP INI. So that's what we will do. So CD to opt Vietnami. sudo vi php.ini and then we will search for extension and so all the extensions are listed out down at the bottom so we will just add it right here Extension equals redis oh, equals redis dot so and we'll save that and again after saving and updating the PHP INI we have to restart uh, all the services so let's go ahead and take care of that so sudo opt bitnami ctl script dot sh and then just restart and this will take care of restarting the entire lab stack pretty much okay so now let's run php m grep redis so we'll verify that the module is installed successfully and we see that that's coming back um, so the next piece is on the WordPress site. So I'm going to log into the WordPress instance. So if I go to this new install that I just made, it should load up. And then WP admin. And I need to find my username and password. So go ahead and log into WP admin. So here we will So log into your WP admin and then the plugin that you'll want to install is Redis. Go ahead and install this and activate it. And then the next thing we'll do is add a couple of uh, parameters to our WP config. So let's go to apps, WordPress. So you'll find your WP config file and open it to edit. And then here you'll want to add these two keys. And I will usually just add it to the bottom here, like right above this line. Like that, put this on the same line here. And then what you'll want to do here is uh, put the uh, your domain name here. Uh, okay. In my case, I will put the IP address. For your case, you should just put your website's domain name and then save out of that. Uh, once you've made those changes, let's go back to the plugin that we activated, Redis. Now we're ready to enable object cache. And as you'll see, it realizes the PHP Redis valid and connected. It connected to our Redis server on port 6379. You can also look at the diagnostics and you'll see here that PHP Redis is enabled. And then over time, the uh, metrics will start to collect and you'll see that that's running. The other way you can also check is running a command line tool on the SSH terminal, Redis, CLI monitor. And you'll see that that is showing OK. And once the site is starting to um, get visits, it will start to query and um, uh, cache some of your queries and your WordPress objects. So if I, I guess I could just start to browse around 
and hopefully it's going to show me there you go so as you can see it's starting to take all of your queries and, and start to cache it uh, so in this way you can check that redis is working and functioning as expected so i think that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this useful if you did give it a thumbs up uh, provide a comment um, down in the comments below if you have a question or run into any trouble i'll try my best to answer them just put your question into the comments below uh, as always, uh, like, share, and subscribe the video, and until the next time, take care.